everyone my name is Sevish Riaz and today I'm going to teach you how to make a character designer piece right okay so let's start so I'm going to share my screen with you so as everybody knows this is a scratch platform and whenever we have to upload a sprite we always go to the sprite section and we choose a sprite whatever sprites we want whether in animals people fantasy, dance, music, sports, food, fashion and letters. We have all types of sprites here. But if you, want, if you want to draw a sprite, you can also draw a sprite in this class. That is the topic of this class. So what you have to do, you have to click here. Look, as you can see, this is choose a sprite written here. You just simply have to put your cursor on it. And there is an option of paint, this paint, okay? You need to click on the paint and you will be redirected on the sprite in this page where you can draw whatever sprite you want to draw whether you want to draw a cat, you want to draw a dog, a house, an ice cream cone, flowers or a bat or whatever sprite you want to draw with your own creativity you can draw it and what can, uh, it can help you in increasing your creativity you know you can put all your creativity in this you know you can put your favorite colors you can put your favorite uh, you know whatever like the favorite shape you want to give to a particular sprite you can do everything here it's a magical you know let's start how to, uh, to draw okay so today i'm going to show you like we are i'm going to draw a dog so let I am going to first introduce all these things. So these are the this is the paintbrush. Okay, this is the paintbrush. This is the for colors which will fill your colors. It's an eraser. It's a text if you want to write anything on your site. The circle if you want to make a circle shape. If you want to make a square shape. If you want to draw something. You draw with this uh, with this pencil. Okay, this is like a pen you know, through which you can draw anything. And this is a fill color. With the help of this part, you can fill the colors. Accordingly, and if you want to, uh, you know, uh, add the outline that is a boundary, you can use this. Okay, so here are some other options also, uh, like forward and backward, and others. I will teach you while drawing it. So let's start. For example, I want to make a uh, a dog shape, or I want to make a sitting dog. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the circle. Just simply click on it and draw a circle here. You can draw it like this and then click on the arrow because with the help of this arrow you can move this circle here here anywhere wherever you want in the, on the screen okay so you need to click on the arrow before moving it so just draw, put it in a correct position wherever you want it and then if you want to decrease the size of an arrow you can decrease it from the corners and remember one thing always decrease the size or increase the size from the corners why? Because if you increase the size from your, with, uh, you know, from your horizon, uh, this uh, side wise, like up and from vertical position or horizontal position, you will lose the actual shape you have drawn. Okay, but if you increase the size and decrease the size equal as uh, with the help of these corners, you, you will not uh, lose the shape you have actually made. Okay, so always remember, lose your, uh, use the corners for increasing and decreasing the size. Okay. So I'm going to delete it because I lose the actual shape. So I'm again going to click on a circle and draw a circle like this. I want this shape for my face of the dog. This, I'm, I'm making the face here, okay? So I can fill the color. You can simply click on the color and you can uh, choose any color you want. For example, I want uh, this color little brownish. So I'm going to use this skin color. So you can choose your color accordingly as you want. Okay, so this is my color which I'm going to choose. So yeah, put it a little. Okay, fine. Now, okay. So now I'm uh, always remember click on the arrow for moving your shape up, down, anywhere, wherever you want. Okay, now I'm going to make two eyes on it. So click on the same circle. Now make an eye like this. okay and you can choose a different color for this like i will choose the black color this one like this and so this is my first time now in uh, you need to create an another eye you just simply click on this one 
and click on the arrow click on this one and then here is a copy paste option given here you just click on the copy and then click on the paste you will get exactly the duplicate of the same eye just put your second eye here and here you got two eyes with the dot okay then you need to you can also check the results here on this area so check the results carefully and adjust your uh, the body parts carefully so that it look like accurate okay so like this so we made the two eyes now i'm going to make a lip portion what i will do just simply put it down a little bit as per your creativity and then <clears throat> go to the again circle and draw a vertical circle like this then click on the arrow place it in the at the proper position okay now i want this dog a little bit sm smiley you know i my i want the dog to smile so what i can i can do just simply click on this and then click on your second arrow this one click on your second arrow because with the help of this arrow you can deform the shape okay look when i click on this arrow then you can click on any one of the four uh, points given here and you can simply deform the shape like this you can make your you can make the shape as per you want i want it to down so i will press the down okay like this you can see the dog is smiling okay little bit more to make it accurate yes so yeah it's smiling you can change the color of it i will uh, use the white color because of the teeth okay yes little bit white Okay, so here I have made the face of a dog, the two eyes and a lip. Now let's start making the ears of the dog. So again go to the circle and again make the circle here. Okay, and now one thing you need to check for like I want the same color. So what I can do, I don't know how to use, them, you know, uh, fill the same color. Simply click on the fill and there is one eye dropper is written. Simply click on this, uh, this icon, this eye dropper and then make click on the color it will get automatically the same color okay now click on the, the arrow again and start making the ears the ears how you want to make your ear, the ears of the dog it's your all up to you how creative a uh, creative ears you will make okay i will make this type of ears okay it's the pegged ear so simply click on it and then again uh, click on the arrow then copy and paste and you this is the second ear but make sure here is another option that is flip horizontal and flip vertical so click on the flip horizontal and make the second ear like this oh wow i got two ears of a dog right it's looking so cool okay now let's start making the body how we're going to make a body simple go to click on the circle and then click a draw a body like this put it here okay make a little you know you need to adjust it accordingly according to the body then click on the this arrow again and start making a, the body of a dog like this or you can simply make it like this whatever you want okay perfect i think my body is perfect just click on the arrow uh, do some little adjustments here right okay so i completed the body of my dog now i will make a tail so again click on the circle and start making a tail just simply make it in a vertical position because the tail is like rounded so again click on the same arrow and attach the tail with the body so it looks like a uh, it's a body part it should not look like you know it's not a body part make it little like this then look like this okay it's looking looking like a tail yes but more oh okay like this okay so this is the tail of my dog yeah you can also if you feel it's not looking good you can simply adjust it accordingly So this is the tail. So I have completed making all the body parts. Right, the first make them. Uh, I made um, a face, then uh, two eyes, and then no, then sorry, this one, this um, mouth, two ears, a body, and the tail. Okay, so I got the slide, and now we can do the coding of the slide. Whatever you want to do, you can simply edit. Okay.
okay this was the first try then next time i'm going to make another try for you guys for example again click on the paint okay now i will make something different for example i want to make a um let's make a ice cream cone okay let's start how to make an ice cream cone here here you will click on the uh, square just make a square first change the color because we need some other uh, cone like this we i want some different color so i will use a pink color one thing Okay, I use a fill box for filling the color. So remember this: you have to use a fill box. Look, click on the fill and then fill. Okay. So make uh, you. I want to make it. Uh, click on the arrow and make your ice cream cone here. So you can, you know, you can see here. Just decrease the size. Put it here, anywhere on the screen. Okay. Now, how to make a ice cream cone? As you know, we need to make a triangle. So what we will do? Click on here, and then. Take your this part little bit here and this part here, so you can see I'm making a triangle cone. Wow, it looks so cute. Okay, little bit slow up. Okay, so I made an ice cream cone, but there is no ice cream, so I'm going to fill the ice cream now. How? Click on the circle, put the circle here like this. Click on the arrow, put it here, and now. Click on this and start making the cone like this and this and this whatever I whatever shape you want for your ice cream you can make that simple as it is. You can make a different type of a shape, whatever shape you want. Okay. Oh, sorry. Be like this. Okay. So I made this cone. Now click on this arrow and make. Uh, okay, put a little here and click on the here. Put a little here. You can extend it because your ice cream cone should be a little big than your ice cream. Okay, fine. Okay. Now you can put cherries. You can. Put Strawberries into here, like with the help of this arrow. Click on the color, make it red color. Strawberries. You can put little bit of uh, you know, like a strawberries here. Like I'm doing. Either you can put the same size, or you can simply copy it. Then you can duplicate it. Let's. I'm going to show you. Click here. Copy. Click on the ice cream. Click on the uh, strawberry first. Then copy. Then paste. Paste. And then adjust it accordingly. Oh. Again, click on here. It just it accordingly as wherever you want. Copy, paste like this. Okay, and one more copy paste so that you will put at the top. Okay. Now, if you want to make you know more uh, strawberries on the top, you can simply make it or some uh, sprinkles like toffee side. So simply make one more here, then copy. Paste, put another one at the top, then paste, put one here. Oh, I got it to get deleted. Copy, paste, one more. Oh, oh, once again. Yeah, put another one here. Okay. And this one. So this made the ice cream cone. And one more thing, I will teach you how to use this one. Simply click on it if you like. Change the color if you want to. First, we will draw it. Okay, you use this, and then you can draw a line here. For example, if you want to make your strawberry cone more beautiful, you can see this is for the bond tree, so you can use whatever color you want to use. For example, I'm going to use the yellow green color. So you can use the green color, make it little beautiful your ice cream cone like this. Then. 
like this it looks like the perfect ice cream cone If you feel something wrong, simply click on it, delete it, like this one. Okay. Okay. So if you want to change the size of your sprite, you can simply go click on the sprite. Like it is 100. I will make it 50. You can see the size will get here. So the dog is having an ice cream cone. Okay. Now let's do one thing, we can simply duplicate the same sprite here, click on duplicate and you will get another ice cream cone of same thing, same size and put here another ice cream cone here. If you want to change the size of your dog, simply click on the dog and see the size and write 70 or 80, whatever you want, you can see the size of your dog. So in this way, you can create so many sprites in the site um, uh, website and the sprite app. So you don't have, you need to worry like for example if you don't find any sprite in your sprite sections you can simply create it and with the help of this your creativity drawing skills will increase. I hope you like the session today so um, uh, if you have any doubts or any questions on this tutorial please feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I will answer all your queries and please like share and subscribe to our channel to see amazing video like this every day okay see you soon in the next video till then bye bye take care